I am going to now give you the answer to assignment one, which is Hello World. And Hello World is a traditional assignment that we do when we start any programming language because it, rep it allows us to test where the A, the programming environment is set up correctly and running properly, and B, to do the most basic thing you can do, which is make the programming language say something. And all we're going to say is hello world. So I'm going to run PyCharm, <coughs> and I'll open CE this time. I will switch back and forth between the two uh, pretty liberally. But uh, I'm just going to, let's see. What I would recommend is, um, I would recommend titling your files A1, A2, et cetera, et cetera, so you know what's what later on. So when I want to create a new, a new file, I'm gonna right click on the main folder, the project folder. I'm gonna click, new, I'm gonna cover over new, I'm going to go down to Python file, and I'm going to call it a1.py. The py at the end tells the Python interpreter that when I run this, that's that it's a Python file and treat it like that. Okay, and I I know if I'm successful, I've got the file name up here, and I've got a little one over here, which tells me that I'm on line one, and I'm ready to start coding. Okay, so I can hide my files over here and let's enlarge my text a little bit. There we go. Okay, so Hello World is a one-line program and it makes use of our first function. A function in Python is a command that does something. The print function is probably the most, func the most commonly used function that we're gonna use in this class. We're gonna use it a ton. You know it's a function because it's a word that has parentheses. The parentheses have to be there for every function, even if you don't put anything in them. So you will see functions that are empty. The print function takes one what's called argument. The print function requires you to give it something to print. In this case, the argument that I'm going to give the print function is a string. A string is just a group of characters that is in order, okay? So a string is indicated by quotation marks. I can use single quotes or double quotes in Python. It does not matter. But I'm just going to type inside those quotes the words, hello world, just like that. And now I have finished assignment one, okay? I told you it was that easy. Now, in order to run that file, I'm gonna choose current file from my drop down menu up here and I'm gonna hit this little run button. And what I'm gonna see here is a few lines of text. Let me explain those to you. The first line of text is the path to this file. The path just simply means where it's located on my computer. So starting at the very base folder of my computer, the main folder, it's inside users, inside Bill Mosley, inside desktop, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, it'll tell you the exact directions to this file. If I scroll over, you can see it ends in a1.py. So that's what that is. Next, it's the product of what, the, what I've told it to. I said print hello world. There it goes, it prints hello world. Just like that. Very obedient, this Python. And then after that, it says process finished with exit code zero. Exit code zero means there are zero errors. That's all it means. That your program ran and it didn't have any errors. That's always the best thing to have happen at the end of a program is exit code zero. If there was an error, like maybe I left off one of the quotation marks and I hit run, then I get exit code one, and I also, had, I see a few other things that happen. It gets underlined in red. Now you'll see things get underlined in other colors, but red means you're gonna get an error, 100% sure. If it's like a dark orange color, it's like, I think you might get an error, 
red it means you're getting an error dude if you run this that's what's going to happen and sure enough it gives me an error and it tells me what line it's on so it's giving me clues i just want you to think about this when you first start it's giving me clues it's saying your errors on line one and also we think it has something to do with this and it says unterminated string literal detected at line one unterminated string literal just means hey dude you forgot the other quotation mark let's say if i if i have a quotation mark but i forget the other parentheses and i run that then i get hey this was never closed meaning you don't every time you have an opening one you have to have a, a matching closing thing there's a lot of symmetry in programming and so when you have a, a left parenthesis, you almost always have to have a right one. If you have a left uh, an opening quote, you have to have a closing quote. That everything matches. And that's that'll be one of the most frequently happening errors that you'll see in Python. The other one is going to be uneven indentations, but that's a that's a topic for another time. So once I have this and it runs properly with Xcode 0, that's good. 